Hello Libra, this is your January 2019 reading. Will not resonate with all Libras, but people think it does. I don't know, but it doesn't. I'm trying to get the masses. I'm trying to get as many of you as possible, but we shall see. I'm going to put this out there, but this is for the full Celtic cross for Libra, January 2019 for the general population of Libra. Energy's coming in for Libra. January 2019. I do shuffle these prior. I concentrate on your sign to get the best energy I can. But let's see what the incoming energy is, the beginning energy. Temperance, gaining balance, control. Um, situations in your life may become smoother as it comes into January. It also could be telling you, the universe is letting you know that balance is coming. So let's see what else is coming on. I'm using a new deck. It's a Morgan Greer. Had to study the cards, though. Some of them I, what, I was not familiar with the artwork. We got the Wheel of Fortune. Great card for, for Libra. This is maybe your luck is changing, but what's crossing it? Queen of Rods. Queen of Wands. Uh, this could be a fire sign or someone taking on an energy. Some argue it's Aries, some argue it's Leo, but we're reading for the masses, so we're going to say fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They may be getting in the way a little bit of your fortune, but good luck and fortune is possibly coming towards you. Things are getting better. Let me put it to you that way. Goal. Entrapment. That's Eight of Swords. That's someone feeling trapped. Even though you got good fortune and balance coming your way, you're still thinking of a trapped feeling, a negative feeling that you cannot break free. And you may be thinking about this, about how can you become untrapped some way. Because with the Eight of Swords, it's kind of illusionary in a way. Someone's uh, tied and bound, but not real, real tight. They think they are. But it's not. They can come loose with this. That's what's attached to this card. You can break free if you want to. Foundation. Has four wands, rods, whatever you want to call it. It's a happy home. It's, it's something you're wanting. It could be something you're wanting, something you're desiring, or something you're actually experiencing. Something you're trying to achieve. The foundation. In the past, you had your swords up. You possibly blocked things out. In other uh, meanings of this uh, card, it's actually making peace. But oftentimes, someone doesn't see what's in front of them. They block things out. And they put a blindfold. In the past, maybe you put a blindfold on and didn't see things clearly. In your future, you're going to transform. You're going to end something. Something's going to end. And you're going to transform. An ending is a coming. I don't know what you're going to do. I don't know if this has to do with a job. We'll find out. Relationships. It could be anything. Now I'm going to lay out four more because it's the energy is coming towards you in the distant future. I want to clarify these first with my universal weight. But we got to see what all these are meaning. As you know, I do not take negative cards out of my decks. I keep them in. If they come up, they come up. I leave the positives, too. I don't just... They all stay in. But the Wheel of Fortune and the Queen of War <clears throat> Rods, why are you there <clears throat> as the subject at hand? Turning your fortune around. Something's getting in the way, though. There it is again. It's a death card in reverse. Something tries to resurrect in your life. Could be the queen of uh, rods or wands. Or you may be trying to resurrect this thing. Or trying to keep it from coming back in your life. Something something you blocked out. You, you don't want to come back. You want it to... Some of you may want it to stay ended. And others may be trying to resurrect. <clears throat> be careful with the death card in reverse or in the upright. When something should stay gone, or, or things, arguments, or situations, whatever's occurring should stay gone, should stay buried, you know? 
But there is a resurrection. You come out something new. Usually you come back stronger a lot of times. But let me get another card for the Wheel of Fortune. We know that luck is changing. You've got the Queen of Rods and the Death in Reverse. Why are you there? Maybe you're trying to stop an ending. Could have to do with the Knight of Cups. you got more than one situation here. Knight, I mean, King of Cups is in reverse. It could be a water sign or someone taking on that energy. It could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It doesn't matter because I'm reading for the masses and we go for all. But this is more like a feeling. Someone's feeling emotionally distraught. And it could be over something that ended. Now, let's go for the goal. Let's find out why the Eight of Swords is there for Libra. Oops, something's trying to pop out. And I'm going to kind of on the side. But you're looking for something better to come in. Something to come in that you liked. Something you've been waiting for. Can I get another card for the Eight of Swords and the Three of Wands? Queen of Wands. Mm -hmm. Is that what you were doing? Want you? Yep. Queen of Wands, Queen of Rods. Feeling trapped with the Queen of Wands, or she's feeling trapped with you. It would be different for everyone. But if someone's feeling trapped, it has to do with the Queen of Wands. As I told you before, hell have no fury like the Queen of Wands in reverse. Could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Like I said, someone taking on that energy, acting like them. Acting like this energy. But someone is feeling trapped. They're looking for th good things to come their way. They're waiting patiently. But they're feeling trapped. And it has something to do with the Queen of Wands. Now sometimes this could be the Cross Watcher feeling this way. But i got to read this just for uh, Libra. i got to, you know, it'll be get, get too confusing if I try going back and forth. So take it as you see it. Okay? You know, you can interpret it how you're feeling it. There's nothing wrong with that. Now, the foundation is the Four of Wands. It has to do with a happy home. It's in the upright. Why are you there? Four of Wands, Rods. Why are you there? That's the foundation. Give us... Someone's keeping to themselves, thinking to themselves about a happy home situation. They're thinking on it. Maybe you're wanting this. Maybe you're thinking about how you can obtain it. Because the hermit thinks, say... They mull over stuff. They try to figure out what went wrong or what's, what can go right. You know, they're just keeping to themselves thinking. And I get another card for the Four of Wands and the Hermit. Feel like maybe your happy home has lost its energy, its power. No longer in the... Uh, Honeymoon stage with the Ace of Wands in reverse. I mean, you could possibly be wanting this again, and you're thinking about how happy your home used to be, or where how happy you want your home to be. You may want a new, passionate beginning, but you're figuring out how to do it because it's not happening as we're speaking. But you're wanting it, and you're 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 thinking on it. Now, in the past, you got the two of, wand, uh, two of Wands, Two of Swords, excuse me. Two of Swords in the past. It is in the upright for Libra. Two of Swords, why are you there in the past for Libra? Communications are trying to come in, but you may not be accepting them for some reason. It's like you're not seeing it. You're kind of blocking it. Someone's trying possibly to make peace, too. But I see more or less communications trying to get, come in or someone wanting to travel. But usually I, with this, the way that these two cards are, I'm thinking someone wants to talk. And either you got them blocked or they got you blocked. And I get another card for the Two of Swords and the Eight of Wands, Rods, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, someone needs to make a decision. They got to choose the one or the other. Someone is wanting you to make a decision with the Two of Wands. It's like they're thinking, what can I do? What can they do? Because I see communicating. I see them saying, here, this is what I got to offer. You choose what you want, but you're not possibly in the past even contemplating it. Put it off. In the near future, got an ending coming. It's a death card. 
It's not that scary of a card. It just means something ends. You put something ending from your life with a death card. Why are you there? Death card in the upright in the very near future. Putting an end possibly to fighting. Because that's the Five of Swords in reverse. You're putting it behind you and you will not relive it again. See? Death card ain't that bad. Putting it behind you and going on to a newer you. Can I get another card for the death card and the five of swords in reverse? Yeah, you're not going to argue with someone of the knight of wands or wands energy again. A fire sign, possibly. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Nope, you're not going to fight. You're not going to argue. Now, sometimes... With some of you, you may actually end something with this person, or you just may end the arguments in general. It'll be different. You can leave it in the comments. Which one are you? You know? Now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to read the rest of these. Now, this is a possible future outcome right here for the advice from the universe. I don't know what it's going to be yet until I play it out. High Priest is trusting our intuition. Why are you there, High Priestess, for, their, for Libra? Hangman in reverse. Trust your intuition. Don't mull over stuff anymore. Don't wait around for something. Don't just hang around because it's a hangman in reverse. The High Priestess, the hangman in reverse. Why are you there? The tower, trying to avoid a tower moment. Yeah, listen to your advice. Don't stay stagnant. Listen to your heart. Listen to your gut instinct. Don't stay stagnant. Don't just stay still and avoid towers. Avoid arguments. Avoid things crushing down, crashing down because you, you listen to your intuition about what could go wrong. Pretty cool. What is coming towards you? Hope. Also, it could be uh, people around you bringing you hope. The star card, best wishes and hopes and dreams. The star card, why are you coming towards Libra? There it is again, a queen, it's an air energy. Someone's coming towards you, someone's got hope for you. This is why hope is coming towards you, because the queen of swords is either bringing it or needing it. Queen of swords could be Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Can I get another card for the star card and the queen of swords, both in the upright, coming towards Libra. And the king of pentacles, you got some really sound people that give good advice. It could be another air sign here. Or like I said, it could be that there's hope for two upright individuals or someone who has this energy all together. Queen of swords, like I said, could be an air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. King of Pentacles is a very secure person, sound person, and has great wisdom themselves. They're solid in their decision making, and they do usually do very well. Could be an earth element or someone taking on that energy. It could be Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Hopes and fears. Nine of Pentacles. I had that wrong once. I think I was reading it for another sign way earlier. In December, but it kind of look like a magician, but it's actually the Nine of Pentacles. It's like, you know, sort of like gain, wanting gain, wanting what you're wanting before final security come, comes along. So you want to have gain in your life and independence and security, and there's nothing wrong with that. <clears throat> Nine of Pentacles in the upright, why are you there? You know, celebrations, you're wanting gain and celebrations and happy times and, you know, celebrating friends and family. So I'm thinking these are your hopes and I doubt they're your fears. Yeah, you're wanting just to drop negative situations or things that are cumbersome. You don't want to take on more than you can chill with the Two of Pentacles. Now, the outcome, Queen of Swords, you're dealing with the Queen of Swords yourself. You are taking on, <clears throat> excuse me, I keep on losing my voice lately. Queen of Swords, you're taking on your own energy. You're putting your crown on. The Queen of Swords is a very wise person. Um, they know what they want. They, they, they rule, start ruling well, ruling righteously for now. At the end, you will 
take on this energy and rule righteously. Maybe at times you weren't before, maybe because there were fights and arguments and unhappy home situations and blocking, but you're taking on your crown and you're becoming more wise as time comes goes on. Queen of Swords, why are you there? Why are you in the upright? There's nothing wrong with you being in the upright. It's good that you're in the upright. Yeah, you're going to take on your crown. Why? Because the Empress is there in reverse. Things weren't growing. Things weren't um, being fruitful before. Maybe you realize that with the Empress. You weren't getting blessings. And so you decide to take the crown on. Maybe to regain growth in your life. Queen of Swords. The Empress in reverse. Why are you there? Yeah, because of past heartbreak and betrayal, sometimes with attached to this um, Three of Swords is sometimes a third party. It really is. Um, but other times it's just heartbreak. But it's in reverse. It's coming out of heartbreak. Maybe some, maybe some of you were involved in a third party. Others just were heartbroken over something, over somebody else. We did see a few. We do see a few people here, you know, roaming around. Beyond trapped, ending things, ending arguments, possibly taking on your crown because something was unfruitful and was breaking everybody's heart, including yours. So that is your reading. And I get at the end the magician in the upright. This is someone who takes on control, knows how to do what they need to do, has the ability to do so. They have many gifts. It's like the universe is telling you to use the gifts you have. And manifest what you want. So this is your reading, Libra. Looks good to me. And I'll talk to you next time, okay? Bye.